everybody, it's Super Rainbow Queen coming in with you today with a Cubs full haul. Today is August the 7th. So let's get right into it. I'm making Rotel dip tonight. So I had to go buy everything for it. I got some Genio, 85% lean, 15% fat, ground turkey. I purchased some farmland classic cut applewood smoked bacon for bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. I purchased this Oscar Maya Deli Fresh Honey Smoke Turkey Breast, which I learned to like. So I just purchased one. These things are $5 at Walmart. I don't even know if they, I mean at Cubs. I went to Cubs. I don't even know if they sell these, this kind at Walmart, the honey smoked turkey breast. I'm not sure. I will look though. But that was $4.99. This was $3.99. This was $9.99. That's this three pounds, actually. You pay $3 and something a pound for ground turkey anyway, so it wasn't no real big difference in the price. So, yeah. I'm making a big pot, so I purchased this Velveeta cheese for the Rotel and a knockoff to mix with it. Yeah, I'm doing that because this Velveeta alone at Cubs run you almost $10. This ran six something, so I needed to. So, cheese for the Rotel. Oh, let me move this out the way. These are the chips for the Rotel. I would have got the uh, on the border ones if I went to Walmart, but like I said, I wasn't at Walmart, y'all. These will have to work. And after these gone, you'll use taco shells or you won't use nothing. So, two bags of these. These were $1.99 a piece, 12 ounce. These are mine. Yep. All mine. <laughs> uh, what else? Here it goes. Shredded lettuce. Because I'm going to make a bacon lettuce and tomato salad. So I only got two Roman tomatoes. They was kind of, a lot of them was soft, but I picked the nicest one. See? That I could find. So just two. And cheese for my sandwiches when I get ready to make one. I don't use cheese on my bacon, lettuce, and tomatoes. That's probably weird to y'all, but I don't use cheese. So yeah. Uh, this is my favorite can. Kobe Jack Ultra Thin by Sargento. Okay. Almost done. This is something that I haven't seen before in the big old bottles. Y'all already know I had to have some had to do with coffee. Make frappe in the big bottles. I haven't seen this there. Let me take this flask get off there. So I purchased this. This was uh, $4.99. Okay. So I purchased that. Then I brought, I have purchased every last one of these bottles, you guys, because the last few times I go to Cubs, they never, ever have. So, of course, I went there and took every last one of them on the shelf. Normally, I leave people some, but lately, ain't nobody been leaving me none. And I hope that's not being selfish, but if it is, I'm sorry, honey, because uh, this is my ish right here. Okay? And it's $3 a bottle, two eighty nine. dollars The salted dark chocolate. And Walmart do not sell this anymore. You'd be lucky if you find this in a, um, in a corner store. But... Cubs always, well, they don't always have it, but when they do, I try to rack up when I can afford it. So I purchase a lot of these. All done. And no, my son can't have one before he acts. <laughs> you got 
should have some of that big cafe, but not one of these. This is the, I got like, what, seven bottles. I cleaned the shelf. I am not playing when it comes to this salted dark chocolate. Seven bottles. Bam. Yes, honey. So, this came in to share with you guys my little small cup food haul. You guys have a blessed day and thank you for all my new subscribers. Hi, everybody. I see you guys subscribing. I just want you to know I appreciate that. And of course, my radadas. So, y'all have a blessed day and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.